I'm not sure the words today in Matthew's gospel can really convey the burden that Mary and Joseph must have really felt. Joseph received his marching orders. Get up, take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. How he managed this was up to him. How he got them food, what work he did, that was all up to him. And as he gets one journey complete, we hear for the sake of the child to return. And again, up to Joseph to figure this out. We celebrate the Holy Family today, not because Mary and Joseph never had any struggles or wondered what to do next or had no problems, but because of how they dealt with these struggles. The family is holy, yes, because of the child, but also holy because of the, the way they faced their challenges and they never let their trust waver in God. They did their best and then they put their trust in God for the rest. Now for you and I and our families, whether it's our families of relatives, of close friends, of church, work, or schoolmates, whatever it may be, it's probably a pretty safe bet that we could each come up with a list of disagreements within our families. Our list might include things of how we practice or how we feel about our Catholic faith, how much or how little we focus on our families. It might be rivalries of siblings, or co-workers or classmates, or constant bickering or fighting within the family. No, what, no, what, no matter what the issue may be, they're not easy issues. And in many cases, we don't know how to resolve them. So how can we work through this? Our first reading from Sarak expresses that we honor one's parents by respecting, loving, and caring for them, which is also honoring our Lord. And since God is in each of us, we can make honoring and lo the Lord by observing each one of our families, by also loving, being hopeful, trusting, and living with each of them with humility. The same way the Holy Family is that example for us. How they lived through their struggles. How they trusted in the Lord. And then they let the Lord take care of the rest. So as we move into this new year, I know we'll hear about New Year's resolutions. And it always seems like it just always focuses on oneself. How can you live better? How can you learn new things, be healthier? Well, I'd say maybe we ought to consider to take some time with your family, to talk as a family on what you may do better to live trusting with the Lord. And know that whatever he may have in store for you, what struggles, what difficulties that you may face this year, that he will be with you.